Hey all, welcome to Stock Talk Pro. Today I am going to talk about a company which is not only shaping its own future but also participating in the growth of a modern world. So the company which we are talking about is in the business of manufacturing, marketing and providing the services across the India for its special refractory system. Refractory is a product widely used in a heat intensive companies like steel, glass, cement, petrochemicals and so on. Company like Tata Steel has to produce the steel. They have to buy the refractories from these companies because these refractories has to absorb the heat of 1200 degrees. So it has to be built properly and this company is a market leader in refractories in India and across the globe. But also due to its quality of products, it is being a renowned manufacturer of refractories across the globe. So the demand of refractories is mostly from the steel which accounts to around 75% of the sales of this company. Rest 25% comes from different sector like glass industries, petrochemicals industry, non-ferrous industries and all. So if you have not seen my other video where I have talked about Tata Steel Growth which is a major steel company in Asia. So that company is going to grow in the coming future. So if steel company is going to grow in the future, this company is going to get benefited from that as well. Considering the future growth of steel mainly in India because of China plus one strategy where China has stopped producing the steel, India is now going to be a major producer of steels. And if the steel growth is up, this company going to get more and more sales from this growth. I hope you understand why I have focused on this company along with the, my previous video of Tata Steel because these two companies are combined together to take you to the future growth in the coming years. So the company which I am talking about is RHI Manasita which is a global leader because of its manufacturing locations across the globe. Now, if you look at the fundamentals, this just 1,500 or 2,800 crore market cap company is now sitting at 12,500 crores. This shows that company has grown in last three to five years and now it is setting a stage for next growth from here onwards. Company has delivered a very good profit growth of around 31% whereas the return on equity is around 25% CAGR in last three years. Not only that, company has a very healthy dividend payout with a yield of 19.7%. So if we invest in this company, we are going to participate in the growth of this company along with a passive income in the form of dividend payout. If you look at the 10 year data, this company was having a sales revenue of 300 crores in 2011, now is at 2000 crores and if you look at the TTM trailing 12 months, it is already at around 2331 crores, whereas we are still waiting for two more quarters. So in last 10 years from 300, now it is going to be somewhere around 2500 crores. So this was about a sales. Now if you talk about the profit growth from 31 crore in 2011, now it is around more than 350 crores considering the end of 2022. So 10 times return in both sales growth as well as in the profit growth. The stock price growth CHR is around 40 to 50%. Overall, the fundamentals looks very strong. Since they are on the path of growth, they have taken the loans in 2021 around 70 crores, which they are paying it and already paid almost around 4 crores. By seeing all these fundamental numbers, this company is getting an attention from the fundamental investors also which is shown in the shareholding patterns that from 0% now they are around 2.5% stake in this company which might increase in the coming quarters. So we need to keep an eye on that as well. If you see the technical charts, this company has already given an all time high. From there it has given a small correction but then it has shown the reversal. Now if you are looking to invest in this company, we have different levels defined from where we can start investing in this company and hold it for coming few years. The levels you can see on my screen which is somewhere around 700, 650 and till 575. Since this company is currently overvalued compared to its peers, so we can expect a 
correction in this stock and as soon as we see a correction it is good to add in your portfolio because the numbers are very strong the chart is also telling that this company is in the path of growth and the levels are given we can invest based on those levels and don't forget to see my previous video where we have discussed about Tata Steel because Tata Steel growth or overall steel growth in India is going to impact directly to this company because the major sales is coming from steel industry only which is around 75%. So keep an eye on this company RHI Mamusita as well as on the Tata Steel because both are going to give you a combined growth in the future. I hope you got some important information from this video. If yes, please do not forget to subscribe it, like it and share it with your friends and family. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye and take care.